toys in every store But the prettiest sight to see Is the holly that will be On your own front door A pair of hop-along boots And a pistol that shoots Is the wish of Barney and Ben The dolls that'll talk And will go for a walk Is the hope of Janice and Jen And mom and dad can hardly wait For school to start again It's beginning to look a lot Like Christmas Everywhere you go There's a tree in the Grand Hotel One in the park as well It's the sturdy kind that doesn't mind the snow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Soon the bells will start And the thing that will make them ring Is the carol that you sing right within your heart Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rumble? The noob deathmatch in the Christmas hub. Tristan, Deathmatch 678 versus Rex Lego. Sorry, I said your name. Anyway, three, two, one, fight! Well, lag would happen right once I come for my attack. Every time I come to attack, it, I lag. Wow. Wait, cookie! Oh, you cheater! Okay, stop! stop. Oh, what? Stop. No, no. It's a fight to the death. Keep punching. He's gone out of bounds. Disqualification. Stop. Okay, no, no more fighting. I don't like fighting. Let your heart be light. So, um, I went on a little boat ride and started just going in a ways away in kind of a diagonal from where my little uh, place was. I went back there a little bit. And, um... I didn't find exactly what I wanted to find. But I think I found something... just as good. Ladies and gentlemen... We have found... a Mushroom Island. Hallelujah! After countless hours of searching... We have finally found a 1.4 generated. Sorry, I'm adjusting my microphone because I literally just hit record. A 1.4 terrain generated NPC village. Ladies and gentlemen. Where is it? Yeah, there they are. They're right there. Yes! Oh, you can all suck it! Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, go, 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 go! Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Through the fields we go, laughing all the way. It's Christmas time once again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Redemption. I was randomly singing there for no apparent reason. It was probably incredibly embarrassing, but you know, psh, YOLO. Not really. We are in Redemption Village today, which has not actually been properly shown yet on Rebuilding Redemption. And we're here for a specific reason Christmas time. And we're going to be having some Christmas time festivities in Redemption Village because it hasn't really been used much, been very much so neglected. But due to the fact that we finally got our another hub, which we're working, which I will show in a bit. Actually, you know what? I normally do this and I normally fail. I normally say like, okay, I'll talk about this in a bit or I'll go show this in a bit. And I actually end up finishing the video before I go show that. So let's go into the nether right now and we'll come back and get a little tour of Redemption Village here. In a second, well, let's go ahead and go to the Nether. Now, I'm going to be doing some a lot of Christmas time related things in the server for the next couple episodes because I hope to be doing episodes a little bit more regularly now. And we're going to be having a lot of fun with the Christmas stuff. We're going to be having some community things. We're going to be doing all that that good stuff: Christmas decorations, present giving, people being nice and happy, and it's going to be a lot of fun. 
We're on our rail. I'm going to be showing you guys the net hub, but also talking about a few things. There's quite a few new members to the server as of now. Um, someone named Rex Lego has joined, as well as Darth Crazy, but he's been on for a little while. And then also my good friend Dusty has joined as well. And we are at the hub, so that's pretty much it about people who's joined. Welcome to the nether hub. And this is our pretty much our community place where if we want to go trade something with somebody else, this is where we go. I've, as you can see, I've decorated it a little bit for Christmas. Not completely done with the decorations yet. I did this nice little fancy little tiny tree in the middle. I really, really like it. Did some garland over here. And this is the nether hub in general. The room was dug out by me. The flooring was done by one can eye. The ceiling was done by one can eye. And these little nether brick accents pieces between the uh, everybody's coves were done by me as well. Let me go ahead and show everybody's little cove. This is Mr. Wank Nasties, the first one that was built. Very nice, very winter themey. I really like it. I like the purple and all this good stuff. And his track is not even finished, but as you can see, it's really pretty cool. As you go along the track, it lights up the lights. Very, very nice. Over here, we have this goes to the community center, which I'm not going to show this episode. I'll take a little too long. But here is D Mask TJ's place. He lives in the jungle, so it's jungle themed. Very, very nice. Over here, this slot's not yet full because we don't have anybody that lives in this direction in the overworld yet. Hopefully, it'll eventually be full or filled, I should say. Over here, we have Darth Crazy. His gamer tag right now is Sledgehammer because one, two, three because his other account got hacked. I didn't realize they had these little skirts. That's funny. Anyway, this is his. Very nice, very clean, very sleek. I like it. It could use a little bit more personality, but it's still relatively cool. Here is mine, which I actually really like, because I think it represents Sev's Lab pretty darn well. It's a cave that I've transformed into a house. So there's like the support beams here, which I actually cauldrons, which I think look really cool. And the reason there's a block right there missing is because there's supposed to be an iron block there. I haven't gotten it yet. Anyway, you go in here, and there's the grass on the floor, just like in Sev's Lab. You go all the way down to the portal. The portal's really close because it's really, really close in the overworld. It's probably the closest to the hub. So, well, Jiwa and I are probably about equal, but I think mine might be a little closer. But anyway, that's besides the point. This is Rex Legos because he likes Pokemon and is obsessed with Pikachu. Press his beauty mark. Very, I took a little bit of damage there. That's weird. Anyway. Very cool hub, very original. I really like it. Before it was this really derpy nether rack looking thing, but I'm glad he said it was temporary because this this is much better, much much better. Here is the Redemption Village one. It's supposed to represent the town, and it's all supposed to look like a little train station. And I think I pretty much achieved what I was going for. I really do like it. It looks very nice and clean. I haven't yet finished the halt the tunnel way yet. I will work on that some other day. Just haven't really had the materials or been feeling up to it quite yet. Um, I think that's it for the first room. As you can see in my other Christmas decorations, I have some candy canes, which I really think are cool. Just around the little uh, nether brick things. And then down the stairs, we have uh, storage. This is my little storage that I made to store all the stuff that I'm using while working on the hubs. I say hubs because second story, there's another one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here is the second story of the hub. There's a fireplace here in the middle. Which, because I, I wanted, like, in there I had the Christmas tree in the middle. I was trying to think of some, something to put in here. I was originally doing wreaths, but they didn't look too good. Sorry, I keep going away from the mic. I apologize. Uh, I didn't think the wreaths looked too good, so I made a fireplace instead. And I really think it fits. I, I, it fits. It feels nice. Uh, there's going to be something down here. This might actually be the staircase down to the ground, but I'm not sure about that yet. It might be like a trading center or something. This is G Wars place, which is supposed to represent a house. I really it's 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 simple, but it does it gets the job done. What the heck? Oh. Oh. He changed that. I was like, why does this look different? It's cause he put a walkway here. Uh-huh. Okay. Fair enough. Um, that might have to be moved back so it matches. You know me and my Minecraft OCD. So it matches the thing. It might be. It should be fine though. I, I'll get over it. Anyway. 
this is his very cool i really like the little wood things like a mine shaft with grass in it really cool and he actually has a second story which i like as well very nice and then we have dusty's one which is nice as breaking that sign I'm forgetting how to spell inappropriate so I'm just gonna put bad fair enough his has a nice little cool automatic door but there's been some complications when he ridged when he made this this wasn't up here yet I made the nether brick things. I had just finished digging this out when he made his center. His little uh, uh, cave. Uh, eh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cove. That's what I'm looking for. So I have to do the lava things, but it complicates with his door. So I think he might have to rewire his door somehow because you can't just have all of these in the entire place are the same. And just because one person's hub is off, I really don't want to have to redo all of these. But I think you could actually just rewire it to make not both from the side, but one from the top and one from the side. Because if you put the lava here, the bottom one works fine. It's just the top one that conflicts. So if you could put it up, up top, I think that would work. And then none of these other slots are filled as of yet. So that's pretty much the extent of the nether hub. You'll be seeing a lot of it in pretty much all the rest of the episodes now that I've finally shown it. So let's go back to Redemption Village and talk about a few things there. Alrighty, so I stopped the recording there for half a second. The, the ride's not very long, but I stopped it because I had a good drink of water and things of that matter. So, we're back at Redemption Village here, and I'm not going to do a really in-depth tour of it. I'm just going to do a brief tour and explanation. This is the first place that was built on the server by Wenk and I. Uh, we did the wall and one of the buildings first, and then recently I've been here. Wenk and I actually have both been here remodeling it. Uh, I redid the walkway here. I redid the lamps, and you see there's a new building down there, but actually, that does not it's not you to, new to you guys, but it's new to me, because this is this was never here three days ago. And I have these nice little hedge boxes, which I really think are cool. Uh, there's my bakery, there's the Christmas tree from last year, this is the little town square, Wank's potion shop right here, the barracks and cafe, Sev Wank barracks, uh, cafe, Sev Wank cafe, which will be a chain. And then here's the original house, but has been converted into a storage room. Let's have a sleep real quick. Go into the barracks so we don't have any creeper problems. Because I previously recorded this, but my audio was off. Because I had the wrong mic selected, apparently. And there was, like, a crap ton of creeper explosions that literally blew up half of the front of the courthouse. Which I'm showing you right now. So this is the courthouse. When can I build this? I did the majority of like the structural parts and the roof and all that kind of stuff, but he helped with the floor design and the idea itself and a well, brilliant second opinion. You got to have a second opinion when you're building stuff like this. That's why it turned out pretty decent. You have the white dome up there, the snow dome. I did this, uh, the white detailing down here. I didn't want to use wool because wool has that kind of grainy, dark texture to it. And I really want something nice and white. So that's why I went with the snow instead. And also because there's snow around here, so it kind of it kind of goes with the theme. Now inside here, the reason there's a courthouse built suddenly is because there's going to be a trial next weekend. What's today? Today is like Wednesday, I think. So this coming Saturday or Sunday that we're going to have a little trial. I'm not going to tell you too much what the trial's about, but there is going to be a trial, and it'll probably be uploaded the following week. But I'll give you guys a little tour of the courthouse. We have the prosecution stand right here. We have the defendant stand right here. We have the jury box up here. I couldn't really figure out anywhere to put the jury box, so I put it kind of floating, which it turns out nice. Jury box up here. Go back down. We have defendant witness stand with a nice little cool design. I, I kind of like this design, actually. It took a while to figure it out. We have the judge's podium, and we have another. We have the prosecution witness stand. And then you go out the side door here, and this is the exit. And this is what also takes you to Green Pines, which is Wank's Estates. And also, I think it's kind of cool because the walkway, you actually have to go through the courthouse. So you have to see the courthouse no matter what if you want to get to Green Pines, unless you go this way. But this is actually going to be fenced off. I'm going to make it like a little fenced in area. And then you have your gravestones. I'll read these. 
to the long lost cow that we killed. There was a baby cow that escaped when we first started this area, and I had to murder it. And then the residents of Trade City, 2010 to 2011. That is a very long story for a different time, my friends. The anticipation will grow. So, in today's episode, I did a little bit of touring, and I'm going to get started on a little building. We're going to be making the Seven Associates Christmas Decorating Service. It's exactly what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making it right here. It's going to be a two-story building. It's actually going to be one story, and then it's going to have a basement because we're all going to store all the Christmas decorations. The basement is because well, yeah, because it's kind of slopes down here, so it's going to be flat right here, but there's going to be a basement, where I, so I'm going to take advantage of this open area down here, because that's how the terrain is. So, I wanted to build this kind of similar, but different to all the other buildings. I want to utilize brick and the spruce wood, but I want to do it in a different way. Hmm, I'm, try I'm still trying to think of how I want to do it. I know I want to make the floor birch wood. I know I want to make the floor that kind of give it a little bit of a lighter feel. So let's go ahead and grab half slabs if we have any spare. And the and I have a problem right now is there may be an issue with the recording. It may randomly cut off and I'll do a little outro out of it probably. Because I've been, I don't have enough, a lot of really free space on my computer. Actually, let me check it real quick. Four gigabytes, actually. So, guys, apparently we're not going to be able to get to building that little building today. But we will in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching as always. Have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye. and Happy, merry, early Christmas. Because that's what these episodes going to be all about. See you guys.